Sabbathy and it's cool. What do you think? Tell me something. No one's commenting on anything. I'll put Randy Rhodes Jackson. This is the wrong bar, by the way. How can you tell if this is the wrong bar? Does anybody know? This fits, but uh, what was different about Randy? Because a lot of people don't notice this on his Concord. That was the first thing I noticed, and that's why I was wondering why mine were always like this. This is absolutely straight. So the one that goes to this is straight. It's in my box of these. I've got like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 2 that are like that. All the rest are Floyd's mostly Floyd's and I've got one that actually has the uh, well here's one with the uh, Allen wrench on the end and I've got one with a uh, kill switch at the beep 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 I gotta get that installed anyways there you go <laughs> see ya. Um, my radio show will be back on next week. I had some problems, but I'm going to keep doing it. If you want your band played on the damn thing, send me your music. Send it to me somehow so I can download it. I need to download it onto my computer so I can upload it onto the playlist. Got it? I will play anybody that sends in their music. I'm serious. I don't have to like it. If you just send it, I will play it, all right? Go to my Facebook page, contact me through YouTube, Facebook will get it set up. You send it to me, I will play it. And this is being heard all around the world. We're getting a lot of good feedback now on this because I'm playing like crazy stuff. 
In fact, it, rumor is that when Alice was in Europe this year, and he heard uh, on a station that one of the band guys are listening to, I played uh, I play this thing on his album called uh, Raise Your Fist and Yell. There's like a mini concept, like what I'm trying to do with Sensation, Creeping Sensation, Turtle Darkness, and whatever the third one will be. But his is uh, Chop, 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 which is about killing girls. <laughs> and then Gail is the girl. But, you know, he kind of loses it at the end. You hear him, like, she had a bracelet or it said M-A-R-Y, Gail, 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 yeah, yeah. Friggin' classic Alice. And this is in 80, 87, 88, and he was coming back, and he just plowed every... Poser, Alice, band, including mine, right over. Because he was back and he killed everybody. So it was so cool. So it's Chop, 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 Gale, and uh, Blood, Roses on White Lace, or something like that. Red Roses, White Lace. I play those three, and they're friggin' heavy, man. Really heavy. That whole album is heavy. So you should check it out if you don't have it. Alice Cooper, raise your fist and yell. That was his big comeback album, and then he kind of, and then he went totally pop, which I thought was stupid, but it was brilliant because he poisoned. I hate that song, but look how huge it was. And uh, yeah, I actually went down and saw him play at uh, some radio station here in L.A. Uh, Mark and Brian, they used to be on the Howard Stern came in, wiped them out. Howard Stern's an idiot. I don't. I, don't even, I haven't listened to Stern in years. I don't even know if people still do. But I went down when uh, Alice was playing on Mark and Brian show. So they start at six. So I was down there at three thirty drinking in the parking lot, front right in the front. I got. I gotta find these pictures because they're. I'm like taking perfect pictures, and he's. I think he had his makeup on. I'm not sure, but I had long black hair. Because it was 90, I think. 1990. And so they're like, man. Uh, again, I had makeup on. Alice makeup. And they're like, oh, so you're a big Alice Cooper fan. I'm like, fan? He's my dad. Oh, you're kidding. This was ETV when they just started. So somewhere out there, they're covering Alice Cooper doing this radio show live at like 6.30 in the morning or 7.00. And I am claiming that I'm his son, and they had to actually ask him, and of course, I'm not his son. <laughs> but I did name my son after Alice, which is Vincent, right? Right. So, that's it. <laughs> sucked in a weird way okay oh because all the effects are off effects really help you when you're doing crazy lead stuff like that all right comment subscribe i'm probably going to cut this in two because i'm sure i've wasted a lot of time oh yeah oh so this will be two parts comment and subscribe my last video i put up with playing my uh friggin uh, sg 25 views and I'm so close to getting those subscriptions, the thousand. And you know what did it? Putting out that Randy friggin' bootleg and putting them on those sites. The, these videos are not doing the trick anymore. I'm getting comments from videos that I did two years ago. I, somebody commented, though, on one of my videos last week. Thank you. I can't remember who it was, but hey, thanks, buddy. You're the only guy. Everybody else is just too busy to comment on my videos. I'll tell you a story. How about this? I will tell you a Randy Rhodes story. No. I will tell you a... Let's pick somebody new. I will tell you the babies. You ever... You know the babies? I was talking to somebody. Well, I was talking to that guy last week. The Jeff guy. And uh, he's, he's saying how I was like 15, 16. 
you know, 17 years old. I'm like, 15, 16, 17. He's like, yeah, that's what I just said. I'm like, no, that's a song, dude. 15, 16, 17. Babies. Freaking great song. If you haven't heard that, listen to it. Anyways, me and my stupid high school band, we were rehearsing in this really nice studio. We stopped and we heard The Babies. You know, with John Waite and what's his name on keyboard that went into Journey. And we opened the door and we're like, whoa. We're like, hey, uh, if we bring an album, will you sign it? And they're like, sure. So we ran down to a record store that was on the mall. This is down on the Golden Mall in Burbank. Bought two... They only had the new Babies album, which fortunately was those band guys. Came back, they autographed it. I don't know what happened. I don't even have the record anymore. I have the sleeve. I used to put stuff in the sleeve to hide it. Just things that teenagers hide, I think. And uh, so everybody knows, oh, is that, you, uh, is that from the Babies album? You know, because it was uh, secret stuff. So, uh, and no, not drugs. Drugs, I uh, actually <laughs> shouldn't talk about this because I don't do drugs. And I haven't in a long time, like 20-something years, I haven't drank or done hard drugs. And I don't smoke pot. So, because it just doesn't do good with me. But I would... Uh, put other things in the baby's album but I, when I did smoke pot in high school in junior high and high school I put it in my model rocket I figured no one's ever going to see that and of course it fell off the shelf and my mom like in, in metal class I built the roach killer I called it because when you get down you're trying to you know stupid so I had a bullet shell built casing you know drill a hole in it, get a pen from a uh, ink pen, cut it, drain it, clean it out, and then solder that to the bullet case so you could just drop your roach in there and then made a, put a little uh, thing on your on that to, so it wouldn't burn it, wouldn't get hot, and you just heat it up and, and smoke it. Roach killer. I sold hundreds of those things in high junior high school. <laughs> but I don't like pot. It doesn't. It does not do well with me. I uh, oh look at I got a new. Let's play this. Ready? Go. Sounds like a phone. All right. No more. Subscribe. Do what you got to do, and I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Hello. Who's this?